Today I thought we'll have a go at this image. It's a composite of five separate images. It's called Tortoise Aquarium. And let's have a go. So as always we'll start with a blank document. And the first image I'm going to import in is Hadrian's Wall. This Hadrian's Wall there look. And we just simply want to drag it down. Drag it in. And we're just going to size it up. Actually, that should do it, I would imagine. Yeah. Right. Obviously, I just want the grass, I don't want the sky. And so I'm going to eliminate the sky using a layer mask. So if we put a layer mask, it's down the bottom here. Put a layer mask on. We can use, the, if it's not there, it will be under bucket fill. So if we right hand click and bucket fill, you'll find a gradient tool. We want to be on the black to white. And we're just going to click here, just drag it down a touch, and then go and see if it's a nice little fuzzy edge on it. But helps with blending. Right, next thing, we would bring in the second image. Um, which is clouds. Again, we'll just drop it down. Import it in. And I'll again just size this up. Like so, and then if we take the clouds and move it below the grass, then it goes behind the grass. Now I don't particularly like this type of thing, so I'm actually going to compress it. So I'm going to get the handle on the bottom, and I'm going to compress it upwards because that makes nice little lines. Going diagonally across the top. Okay, we'll settle that down. Right, next thing is to put the tortoise in. So let's go get that. We'll go to open. And there's the tortoise. And I'll select the selection tool. Select subject will come up. We'll use that. And it's done quite a good job actually. A couple of places missed there, there. Let's jump off with the slow on there. So that's not bad at all. We'll just go down here. In fact, I'll just do these with the polygonal tool. So I'll put my finger on Alt to change it to a minus beside it. I'll be able to just keep my head. And if I move along, we've got this bit here. Again, put your finger on Alt. I'll take that over here. And we'll also And we'll 
If this happens here, it happens to me because I keep double clicking. Just hit escape. And the last bit, the tape away. And I think that's just about it. Well, a little bit on the front here, I didn't see. That looks about it. So we'll go into the selected mask. Yes, definitely looking good. So we're going to feather it by one. Now I'm going to shift the edge down to about minus 12-ish. I'm going to decontaminate the colours and say OK. And there is it. That's looking OK to me. So we'll bring it out and we'll take the top layer and import it in. I'm going to get rid of the original. Now then resize him. Well, move to the top of that layer stack. I'm going to make them quite some size. Come down a bit, and it should be okay. Right, he's a little bit light for this image, so I'm going to go down to add an adjustment layer, and I'm going to pick Hue and Sat. I'm going to attach it to the tortoise layer by Alt click in between it. And then I'm just going to turn the lightness down a bit. And it looks like it should be in this image. It's somewhere around out there. And what we'll do is, if I go into the layer mask of the human saturation, I'll get a black brush. And I'll just take some of the value adjustment off by using a black brush. So I'll just go across with that there you go. Opacity was right down. Get your opacity up to 100. Down there, well, let me catch that, and there you go. See, that's just put a bit of light on because there will be a sun up here eventually. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too much, so I'll just no one. Uh, Right, next thing is that if sun's up here shining, then the bottom of them is in shadow. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another layer onto this. We're going to attach it again to the tortoise. We're going to get the gradient tool, but this time we're going to go black to transparent. And if I click around about here and click just below his chin, there you go. We'll just darken the bottom of them, which is a bit too much. So we'll just change that to soft light. 
and we'll reduce the opacity. And it just looks right. We're on about 80% by the looks of it. And you see the difference is that just looks a bit more right. Right, next thing, because you've got a sunlight coming on him, he's going to have to have a shadow. Before we have a shadow, I think we better blend them into the grass. So I'm going to go to the layer mask of the tortoise. Yeah. And I'm going to go up to, I'm going to get the brush. I'm going to go look for my grass brushes. There they are. And I'm going to take grass, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's all right. We see it's a grass brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to use it black on the layer mask so that the grass underneath that can shine through. Now, never trust a, a brush. It'll change size. It's, it's always a strange thing. So, you see the size of the brush here? There you go. See, ridiculous the way it jumps about. I'll just go back to take them off. And I can reduce the size of the brush. Again, I'm in the wrong place. In the layer mask, there you go. See, and if we just work our way around the bottom bits of the, the torus, It just joins them into the grass. Like so. Right, so now we also need to have a shadow. So below the tortoise, I'm going to put a new layer in. I'm then going to get rid of this brush and just get back to my normal brush. Still black, and what I'm going to do is just paint in where I think the shadow will be, something like that. Then we're going to go to full art, blur, helps in blur, and that will be quite a bit. Like 140-ish, okay, and then I can just reduce it. Did you see the passive heat one that looks right? Okay, again about 8-ish. This puts a shadow on any of them. I'm not sure why we're seeing them, but it's a good thing. What should we have? I couldn't really have this one. That makes no difference. Uh, I think it's not too bad. It's just annoying I can actually see it now. I don't know why. Because it was put under there. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the hard bit. 
The hard bit is actually getting these windows in, in the total shell. So the way I did it was I put a new layer on and I mark out the windows. So if you get your lasso tool, and you make a window. If you put your finger on shift, it will add to that. So you can make more than one selection. So I'll select this one. There's another window. Another one. And the beauty of this is really that you can't make a mistake because who the hell knows what a window and a torus looks like. Oh, I'll put some down the bottom here. And the last one. Right. Now they're not going to be the windows, so we've got to have them separate somehow. So what I'm going to do is just simply paint black into them. So if I get the brush, I'm on black. I'm just simply going to paint black in there. And then select, deselect. Now if we want to put a fish in there, what we're going to do is open up the fish. So there they are there. And basically select the fish that you want. Um, I've already done this because I've used this on a, a different one. I, I cut out a few fishes. But I can't give you the one I cut out because it's too big to, to put over the internet. So just pick the fishes that you want. If I get my PSD one. There you go. You see mains. Already done. Um, so I have various fishes here. I've got right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use six. That one. That one. And that one. So I'm going to pick that, 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 and that, and drag that down. Drag them in and drop them. I've just got them all in. Seems fairly easy for me because I've already done them in, a, in a, a different image. And so I cut them out and I saved it as a PSD so I wouldn't have to do it again. Okay, right, so we've got four fish in. And we've just got to decide where we're going to put them. So oh, let's start with the top one, shall we? The top one is that one. So Let's make that really small. We'll drag that down. We'll put them in a little window there. The next one is that one. So we'll make him a bit smaller. And we'll put them in this window. Next one down is this one. 
which I'm going to put over there. No, nope, I should put it in the bottom there, should not. So I'll make that smaller. And just twist them around a bit. So I'll put them in that window there. Get the bottom one. So bring them up and stick them in there. Ah, it doesn't actually look too bad, does it? Right. The way to get them in there, though, is to attach them to the black window layer. So we click it. It was in. There you go. They're all underneath. Except they're all swimming around in black. So what we need is another layer. Which is of water. So I'll drag that down. I'll drag that in. And what I'll do is I'll size it. So what I've done is made it over the length of the windows. And what I'll do is I'll just drag that down and put it in just above the black windows. And there you go, they are now in water. Also, let's move it around. So, if I drag it around a bit, try and find the bubbles. There they are. That looks a bit better. There's a thing missing though. Which is because we can see through the tortoise, then obviously there'll be windows on the other side of the tortoise, so we should be able to see them. So, just to not distract myself, I'm going to turn the fish off. I'm going to add a layer above the water. And I'm going to go get the black brush. Black soft brush, and I make it fairly small. And basically, what what I did say is, where is the windows on the other side? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see it's there. And I'm going to see this one comes across here, comes down there, this one goes like that, and what should do is we can fill them in at the top, I think, because then will be the roof of the of the tortoise. And I'll put that there. And I've got no idea what to do with the bottom one, so I'll just shave it in a bit, I think. So that's going to be the windows. So now we've got the opacity. Should be able to turn that right down. Yeah, there you go. About tennish. Well, that's all you need to see. You need to see something through there showing you the other side of the doors. I'll put the fish back on then. Yeah, that was alright. The fish obviously are too bright because they're in water inside the doors. So I'm just going to highlight all the fish, I'm going to grab the opacity, and I'm going to drag it down to about 80, so they look like they're inside. Right, the thing wrong with this picture is, the shell has no thickness. You see, I mean, sorry, putting these windows in, but it doesn't actually look like a window, it looks like the 
like the tortoise shell is pure thin. So what we're going to do is thicken up the tortoise shell. We're going to do that by selecting your windows layer, and I'm going to lift a right hand click, and this will bring up blending options at the top. And what I want to do is I'm going to bevel and emboss. Right, so we've gone for outer bevel, that's okay. Uh, I'm not too sure what that's in. Depth. Oh, yes, depth is like the thickness of the shell lower. So you can make it thicker. Size. Oh, that is as well. So we're going to turn that down to about there. And now you see it's there's a thickness of the shell now. It makes it look more realistic. If windows in a tortoise could possibly be realistic. Um, see so we'll get to that. And there you go. Looking quite good. So I'm going back to the top. And what I'm going to do is... I said before we're going to have a sun at the top here, so I think I'll put some birds over here, and so I'll put a new layer on. I'm going to go to the brush. I'm going to get rid of the grass ones. I'm going to open the bird ones, and I'm going to look, look for a flock of birds. So. A swarm of birds in there. Ooh, that's a lot of birds. Ooh. Oh, that one, I think. Right. So we've got a new layer. I'll just say it'll be going this flat base to be, something like that. But on black, and all we've got to do is stamp them on. Yes, the other one. There you go. Birds. And then I'm going to put another layer on. I'm going to get rid of the birds. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this layer with black. So I'm going to get the paint board and I'm going to click on it. Now, well, the reason we've made it black is because we're going to render something on it, and you've got to have something there to render. So we're going to go to filter, render, lens flare. We're going to keep this one, the 50 to 300. This is the flare we're going to put on, but you can actually move it, you see. There's a little cross on it, so you can move the thing around. Now I'm going to put it about there, just so it's half on and half off. You see, okay. And there it is up there. Now we get rid of the black, we just change the blending mode to screen. And there you go, it's gone. Right. I don't particularly want these. These are reflections. So if I get the black brush, remember it's just a black screen. So if I just paint black to it, I can take them away. Like that, if it's not bright enough for you. Just copy it, drag it down to the new layer, and you've doubled it. This is pretty good now. Right, um, I think we'll get down to the, the contrast and stuff now. So we're going to select a gradient map, make sure it's black to white, change the blending mode to soft light, 
and then bring down the opacity on the looks right. That is 40. See? Let's keep the contrast up a bit. And now we'll put a layers of levels on it. We'll just bring the black and the white in a touch. And I think to finish it, we want to put a new layer on and we want to put a vignette on. So we'll get your black brush, not with your opacity down to about 20%. Get a big black brush because it's the feather that you're using. And just click to drag it round. Like that. I'm going to do it again. And I'll bring it up and see what we've done. It's probably too dark that, so just bring the opacity down. Yep, that looks a bit better. Except that we'll, we'll blank out the sun a bit. So get your razor. Nice big one. And just where the sun is, just click on it and let the sun back through. And that's it. Taurus Aquarium. And it's by Hadrian's Wall, so it must be a Geordie Taurus. Um, right, just a reminder, the original images and the written tutorial is on the South Shields Digital Group website. There's a link to that in my header on my channel on YouTube and in the description of this tutorial. Thanks for listening.